Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run ads in order to get more followers on TikTok. This is specifically for people or businesses who want to earn more reputable standpoints when it comes to showing their profiles on TikTok or for even individuals who are just looking to hit that 5,000 follower mark so they can actually apply for TikTok shop affiliates. Me personally, I ran ads only for about like 1,000 to 5,000 followers between multiple of my accounts. And the reason why is because I want to qualify for TikTok shop affiliates, but I've seen other and have, have helped people, especially especially businesses who have ran ads to upwards of like 10K, 20K, and 30K followers plus. So if you're interested in learning about this, go ahead and click on the link down below so you can follow along with me. And let's go ahead and get started. So when you first hit on the homepage, what you're gonna do after clicking on the link down below in the description is that you're simply just gonna sign up for a TikTok shop business account. So you can either click on the get started button on this upper right hand corner, or you can scroll down and actually sign up here. When you sign up, you're just gonna be inputting your business name some per or some personal information. And if you don't have a business name yet, you can assume or write the name of what you think your business will be called. They're not really picky about it. As far as setting up payments go, I set my ads to automatic payments. So it, this does require you to make sure that you're staying up to date and on top of the ads that you're running. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and log into one of my ad accounts and show you how to set up the ad. So once you sign up for a TikTok account, you're gonna reach an ads manager dashboard that looks like this. What you're gonna do next is that you can either click on create ad over here in the top right hand corner, or you can click on campaign. Same thing, it all leads to the same direction in which you are just going to go ahead and click on create an ad. So here we have the create same create button. Now, once you reach this page, you're gonna click on community interaction. So go ahead and click that on. And now the campaign name, what I normally name my campaign name is whatever my video is about. So when I tend to run my ads, usually my videos follow a common theme, whether they're about a certain subject like my dog, or maybe they're about a certain object like a potato. So normally I just name the campaign something where the video is actually related about. So I'll say dog campaign. Now for the campaign budget, I normally toggle campaign budget optimization. And what this does is that it automatically optimizes your budget allocation based on the performances of certain ads. So I'll toggle this on. So once campaign budget optimization is toggled on, I normally set the budget to daily. And so you have to set at least $50. I usually choose around $80, but the, obviously the more money that you spend on these ads, the more data that you're gonna be able to collect. So I recommend like at the beginning, spend lower amounts so you can kind of understand what CPMs you're dealing with. And I'll be explaining later on what CPMs are, but normally I'll usually set it, set it to $80 per day. And keep in mind that just because you set the daily spend to $80, it doesn't mean that you're going to guarantee that you'll be spending $80 per day. It's just like an estimated amount. So down here, you'll see that it says you'll spend up to hundred US dollars on some days and less on others. But usually on average, you'll spend about $80 per day and no more than five sixty dollars on a per calendar week. It's plus or minus, give or take, but now we're gonna go and click on continue. Now for the app group name, Ad groups are basically like specific ads within your within your actual campaign. So no, notice how we named the campaign dog campaign up here. Now the ad group name, I normally just give it a number or something distinctive. I'm not really too particular. I normally do just give it numbers and keep in mind which numbers refer to which videos within my ads. Uh, saved audiences, I don't use. Location, I usually just target the US. Age, I usually target everyone. Gender, all. Normally I just scroll down all the way to the the budget set start and end time so if you want this to start the following day i normally set it to midnight uh, keep in mind though that because you have a new account on TikTok Ads Manager, there's like a two-step review process that's gonna happen with your account. First, they're actually going to review your TikTok Ads account and no, on my last account, it took about like four to six hours. And then after they approve your Ads Manager account, then they're actually gonna approve your ad. So they only have to review your Ads Manager account once, but once you actually post your ad, it should be fairly quick. My ad came running, my ad after my account got reviewed, uh, got posted within like six to eight hours or so. So afterwards, your optimization goal, just make sure that's set to follow. So here for the set and start time, today's date is October 12th. So we'll set it to the 12th and we'll set it for a 13th at midnight, okay? And what I'll actually do is I'll usually set the start time and run the ad continuously until I turn it off, just because I do micromanage my ads and I do recommend that you also micromanage your ads as well. Then afterwards, go ahead and click on continue. So once you reach this page, you're actually gonna go ahead and click on post authorized by account, okay? Not authorized accounts, you're gonna authorize a post by yourself. So what that actually looks like is that you're actually gonna go onto your TikTok account and now would actually be the good time to actually post the video that you plan on running ads towards. So go ahead and post that video onto your TikTok account. And then afterwards, you're gonna go into your profile, go ahead and scroll or find the TikTok post that you want to run, run, ad toward, run ads towards. So let's say that I want to run ads towards its men's letter patch, 
patch shorts. You're gonna go ahead and click on the three dots on the right hand side and then scroll to the right until you see add settings. So go ahead and click on add settings and then you're gonna see this add authorization toggle. Go ahead and toggle that on and then just set it to 365 days. Then click on authorize and then you see where it says video code, you're gonna click generate. So now it says the video code is pending. You don't have to wait for it. What you actually do is just click on save and then it's gonna say video code is ready. So go ahead and click on manage and then go ahead and copy the code. Now that code that you just copied, go ahead and send it to yourself. Now go back to your TikTok's ad manager and then click on authorize TikTok post and then copy and paste the code that you see here and click on search. Now, as you can see, this is the pants short video that I created an ad set code for. Go ahead and click on confirm. And now we've authorized that post to actually be uh, the post that we want to run ads towards. Next, what you wanna do is click on single video and then click on TikTok post. And these are all the ads or TikTok videos that I've set authorized ad codes for. And this is the one that we created an ad for. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to actually go ahead and click on the ad for one of my potato videos. And in case you're wondering, the reason why that there's a kind of alert notification on the shorts post is because that TikTok post that I just showed you how to create or set up an ad code for, it actually has a product linked to it so you can't run ads towards tiktok videos which have product links but we'll just use the potato one which still works just fine then click on continue now as you can see this is my tiktok video now that's going to run ads towards so go ahead and scroll all the way down so make sure you have that by checking this inbox you confirm that you have the rights to this music and this ad for commercial purposes i don't really check this second box by checking the inbox you authorize the ad and the associate promo for metrics to display on a tiktok brand or affiliate platforms i leave that unchecked but everything else i leave unmarked afterwards just click on publish and your ad is going Going to go through the review process. So once you click on publish though, you are going to have to set up your payment. You can use credit or debit or PayPal. And so once you answer your in payment information, you're just gonna click on submit and then it'll be going through the review process. Now what I'm gonna do is actually show you some previous ad campaigns that I've used in order to successfully gain TikTok followers. And I'm gonna be stating what you need to be looking out for in order to micromanage your ads and so you don't waste money. So here on my screen, we have one of the campaigns that I ran a while back on one of my old TikTok ad accounts. You're gonna go ahead and click on potato campaign or the campaign that you've named. And then now we're gonna go actually go into the ad groups within that campaign. So as you can see, I had multiple ad groups running. And so what you need to look out for when it comes to creating multiple ad groups, what we essentially created before is just one ad group. So I recommend creating actually two ad groups for two different types of videos. Um, with those videos, I tend to actually copy them and then set the same exact ad for that video. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But when you have multiple ad groups running, the most important metric that I tend to look out for is the CPM. So as mentioned, earlier in the video, the CPM is essentially how much you're paying per 1000 views. What you want to aim for is the lowest possible CPM, uh, ideally less than $6 per 1000 views. And so if you read the other metrics, you can see that this one had a $6.35 CPM, this one had $36. This one has $63. So instantly what I do is I actually go ahead and close this campaign or this ad group. And then I also actually close this ad group as well. So in order to do that, let's say you have six ad groups running to actually close that ad group. You can click onto it and then turn it off. So you can see that right now this one is off and that the active or the status of that campaign is inactive. Scrolling more, or if we go back to the actual ad groups all here, these are all inactive. So that means they're not currently running right now. But if you scroll more towards the right, you could also see the results we got 560 followers 20 followers 40 followers the cost per result so ideally try to aim for six cents or less per follower and you can also see the conversion okay so eight percent of people follow 30 percent but this one's not on the followers but those are the main metrics you should be looking out for now when you actually do go ahead and clone one of your ad groups so what you're going to do is actually just click on this copy button over here so let's say that you know you have two ad groups running and one ad group tends to perform better than the other you would clone the actual better performing ad group and just put it into the same campaign. You can input the number of copies. Usually I only do like two copies and then just click on copy and then to go through the same steps that I went with through with you earlier within the video. Now I've already went over some crucial things. I normally create two videos that I run ads for and each of those two videos I clone about two or three times. And keep in mind that when you clone an ad group, sometimes the CPM will differ just because TikTok ads is showing it to a different group of audience. So these six ad groups are technically only two different videos. And as I mentioned before, try to get your CPM to be $6 or less, or at least less than six cents a follow. Now for the specific videos that I've actually ran ads towards, I think it's very 
important that not only is running ads a crucial part of getting successful followers onto your account, but also the video itself plays a crucial role. So my videos are around like six to 10 seconds long each. They're very, very interesting. They pique curiosity. So you do have to make sure that your video, the thing that you're running your ad, you're spending money ads on is good. My video also, not only does it pique curiosity, it actually has a strong CTA towards the end to get people to follow my account. So what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and display that video right now, just so you can kind of see how simple yet effective my ad videos have been in order to get followers. So let's go ahead and play the demo. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. It's really simple running TikTok ads. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but if you are looking to get more followers on your TikTok account, this is how I've done it successfully to get upwards of like 30,000 followers sometimes on some of my accounts. But even so, it doesn't have to cost a lot and it doesn't have to be super complex. Just make sure that you micromanage your ads. So do rewatch this video and follow along with me down below in the link in the description. If you have any comments, let me know down below.